Uh, school Olympics was uh, an idea that I had, which we were just going to do in school um, to celebrate the Olympics coming to uh, London. And uh, I uh, wanted to get some of our local schools involved and just do a sort of a, a mini sports day at our school. However, then we, we made it in bigger and we actually invited the whole of Handsworth um, primary schools to take part and some of our secondary schools. So School Olympics is now, um, basically we've, we've got 18 different sports, um, Olympic sports, um, that the children, primary school children are taking part in and competing as countries and each school has been given a, a country to look at within their curriculum as well and they're going to be displaying work of what they've been learning about. Um, we've got an opening ceremony where the children will be presenting a cultural um, event um, <clears throat> where they'll be pre presenting stuff about the Olympics or things about their actual country and that can be a video presentation, a PowerPoint presentation or some sort of musical art or anything like that. <clears throat> so then they may go off and then they compete against the, di the different schools and different uh, um, sports and then uh, we finish it all off with a, a closing ceremony where the medals get handed out and it, again each school will be doing a uh, dance um, around their particular country. We're getting towards the Olympic fever. During the week children take part in lots of different activities, especially at lunchtime. We have young leaders called sports leaders who take on an active role to make sure our playgrounds are safe and enjoyable. The sports leaders each week take on different activities to enhance the progressive lunchtime. And also this week we've got different challenges. Every lunchtime we're going to see if the children can beat world champion records. Monday we had who can win as fast as Usain Bolt. We had long jumping yesterday and today is the chance of the 800 metres. Hello, my name is Nicola. I'm a sports leader. Today I'm doing ten table tennis and my favourite sports are cricket, tennis and football. My name is Tyler and I think that sport and dance is everything. You can never do anything without them. To get fit and healthy you have to do it as well. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm from a company called Speedmark. We run a football fundraiser in, in different schools. I cover most of the West Midlands. Uh, we go into schools and raise money for, for schools. The children of Birmingham, obviously, the Olympics is an exciting time for the whole country. Uh, Birmingham as well, because um, I think Jamaica are staying in Birmingham uh, throughout the Olympics. So that's Usain Bolt and all his friends coming to Birmingham. Uh, plus the football's only down the road in Coventry, so exciting times for all the children in Birmingham. Uh, I think it'll um, give them great opportunities themselves, obviously, because the country's going to go Olympics mad. Uh, so we've got that coming up, and, and they're, they're going to get a chance to play sports that they've probably never played before. Um, all different cultures coming together. Uh, again, exciting times. My name is Eddie Wedderburn. I competed in the 1988 Seoul Olympics for Great Britain in the 3,000 metre steeplechase. I have since trained as a school teacher. I uh, spend a lot of time doing sports with colleges as well as primary and secondary school children. Um, everyone needs goals. Having the Olympics in Britain is more or less having the best role models that anybody could possibly want to see. We need to see people who have done it, who have been there. And they're, they're not all born with a silver spoon in their mouths. Some of them have come from the same backgrounds as you and I. And if they can do it, I don't see why we can't do it. I've done it and I'm sure if you find your targets, if you find your role models, you'll soon see that you'll be achieving the highest level you can achieve, which is the Olympics.